Conventions now offer more to attendants than just a chance to buy comics and meet artists. You can now meet pop culture icons, try out unreleased games, and even get tattoos. Tony Gray is a local comic book publisher who created The Incredible Conduit. Gray has attended a variety of different conventions that range from small ones to big ones. The smaller shows, um, it's, it's a lot more compressed, it's a lot more uh, personal. Uh, the people come up to your tables, they have a little bit more time uh, to, to listen to your stories, you get to hear their stories. Local and independent conventions like Christmas Comic Con in Windsor would be considered small, while a convention like the Toronto Fan Expo would be considered bigger and more mainstream. Both types of conventions feature their own benefits. Small cons have a cheaper price of admission, while bigger shows have more volunteers and can bring in big-name celebrities. Cons are also a place for cosplayers to meet with photographers and show off their hard work. A cosplayer is someone who wears a costume of a character from popular culture, or they can even act and dress as an actual person. Alison McGrath is a Windsor cosplayer who just recently attended the Toronto Comic Con. I think they're a great experience and everyone should give them a shot. Like, it's just something so different from your everyday life. You get to do something new that you don't normally get the chance to experience. The next convention coming to Windsor is the Super Summer Comic Con, which will be hosted at the Kaboto Club July 5th. Reporting for Mediaplex News Now, I'm Chris Mayhew.